is you don't have to be the, f- the finished product to start. You don't have to be the finished product to get into the to the WNBA. We saw it this year. Less, yes, her offensive game is lacking, but you also see how amazing she is when it comes to rebounding. Again, she had she averaged 13 rebounds per game. This is not basketball. But do you see how they're able to be competitive, even taught uh, taught each other in a sense, and still just be professional about it? But it's the fans in the comment sections making this even more toxic because really and truly, we've talked a lot about Caitlin Clark over the past three weeks and the impact she's had in the WNBA. But one player who's also had a massive impact on the W is Angel Reese. So today we're going to react to Angel Reese and see the type of performances i I really want to say amazing performances that she's had this year and um what to look for going forward so yeah without wasting any more time guys let's get straight into it angel reese is one of the most polarizing figures in basketball and someone as far as to call her game ugly while others view her as one of the faces of the wnba i wouldn't go as far as to say her game is ugly and this is something that i you know there's this war going on right now in the WNBA, WNBA that I don't like. It's just let's give everyone that deserves their flowers. And with Angel Reese, we'll, I, I'm going to talk about it as we, as we go along. But yeah, her game is not fully polished yet. She's got a lot of things to work on. But I wouldn't go as far as to say her game is ugly. It's a rookie season. There's still a lot that she can improve on. But we'll carry on. Now, one basketball legend believes that Angel is the best athlete to come out of LSU. She's probably the greatest athlete ever to come out of LSU sports. You heard it here first. Yeah. Man I, and I love the competitive. I love you the hear what I just said? Male and female. The best, female. She's just, yourself female. included. Yes. Guess what? She delivered. She delivered that package. See, a lot of us got the package, and we still got the package in our truck. For those. Look, we love Shaq, but. Shaq, we know what you're doing, bro. Of course, give give the people that deserve their flowers their flowers, but the best of all time. Come on, bro. Who might not know, Shaq himself came out of the LSU program. So for him to say that Angel is the greatest ever to do it from LSU means a lot. What Shaq said. He's showing love. He's showing love. Let's not. Let's not. Oh wait. There's just an ad going on, but yeah, let's not act like Shaq wasn't showing love. He was showing love, um, said something a bit, you know, hy- I want to say hyperbolic in a sense, but he was just trying to show love to a player who, um, who is coming up. A- again, we, we know the problems that the WNBA has had over the past few years in terms of viewership. So Shaq hyping up Angel Reese is always good for the sport, and I'm never going to hate on Shaq for trying to hype up a, an up-and-coming athlete because we know how how uh, how how much Shaq likes to criticize a lot of NBA centers and etc. So for him to be hyping up Angel Reese, I'm not going to get on that. But just know he he wasn't being 100% honest. But we'll carry on. Wait. From LSU means a lot. What Shaq said might not even be hyperbole. After all, Angel... It, it was a hyperbole. It was. Joel brought an NCAA championship to LSU and was named the tournament's most outstanding player. She entered the 2023 NCAA tournament with 447,000 Instagram followers and surpassed 1 million followers by the end of the tournament. That does not matter. That does not matter. This is what I mean. Less, less, um, less judge players on their performances on court when they're playing basketball. It does not matter how many followers followers she had at the start. It does not ma- matter how many first followers she has at the end of the season. We're, we're, we're only going to react to what she's done on the court. And that's the most important thing because if we start to do that, we're going to get ourselves sidetracked. The following month, Reese reached 2 million followers on the platform. Those followers refer to her as Bayou Barbie. The nickname soon caught fire and she trademarked it. She has also been featured in several popular magazines. She has used that opportunity to spread a very positive message. Now, along with this, she has always spoken her mind for better or worse, 
On one occasion, her trash-talking ways rubbed a lot of people the wrong way because she taunted Caitlin Clark. But Caitlin wasn't one to take anything personally. She respected Angel's game and gave her a ton of credit. The angel should be criticized at all, you know, no matter which way it goes. And that's the key part. And this is this is where I wanted to get to. You got two athletes who are performing at, at their peak, whether in college or now in the WNBA, who both dominated in their uh, respectively. You you can still say that Caitlin is a better player, but you can't argue that Angel did not dominate. If you, if you in your if in your rookie season you lead the league in rebounds, that's dominating to me. She dominated in some aspect of basketball. But do you see how they're able to be competitive, even taunt, uh, taunt each other in a sense, and still just be professional about it? But it's the fans in the comment sections making this even more toxic because really and truly, they we're, we're seeing one of the best or the star of one of the best rivalries in sports between Caitlin and Angel, and they respect each other and they go hard every single time. But it's the fans in the comment sections that make this thing so toxic. Because as I said when I was making my other Caitlyn video, if we simply focus on, on on the basketball side of things, this is going to be this is going to be massive for the WNBA, and the the sport is 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 go is going to grow. The everyone's going to make more money from the owners to the staff to the players, and then I think most importantly, at least for, from the from the point of view that I'm looking at, is you have all these young girls watching the sport and being invested in the sport of basketball and it's just going to get more young girls into basketball which is going to help their fitness which is going to help their mindset etc and etc so if we focus on the basketball side of things there's so many positive things to take away from this and this is what i mean let's focus on the basketball things uh, on the basketball side of things the reason why i'm watching this video in the first place is so i can kind of try and um in a sense um swing the narrative a little bit so we can you know really and truly focus more on the basketball side of things let's focus on the basketball basketball side of things because there's no need for us to to bring up all this toxic nonsense it's basketball at the end of the day I, when you look at the, at the biggest rivalries we've had in sports whether it is larry bird and magic johnson whether it is um ronaldo and messi whether it is um i don't know nadal and federer the fans will always have these little toxic battles amongst themselves. But when you actually begin to focus on the sport and the impact it has on the sport, th that's when the sport is able to grow even more. And, and, and the, as, I said, as I said before, the most important thing is that it was their rookie season and you're able to see how good both of them are. They're both incredible players, both of different skill sets, both incredible players nonetheless in their rookie seasons. They're both going to get better. They are both going to get better, and I cannot express this enough. But we'll carry on. Come on. Never be criticized for what she did. I think everybody knew there would be a little trash talk in the entire tournament. It's not just me and Angel. So, and like I said, I'm a big fan of her. When Angel announced that she would be leaving college and entering the WNBA, some doubted if she was good enough offensively to make that leap. Gilbert Arenas believed that Angel made a mistake by going to the WNBA because her offensive game wasn't fully developed. She's a top five pick, top ten pick. Ooh. If she decides to come back, it's not to win a championship, it's to develop her offensive game. Yeah. We can say she played a great game, but rebounding, getting second chance points, yeah. But she's so limited offensively. She's on her left side, but they never let her go middle. While WNBA legend Cheryl Swoops believes that several college players are in for a rude away. I don't know what's going on today, but yeah, that's another thing is you don't have to be the, f the finished product to start. You don't have to be the finished product to get into, into the to the WNBA. And we saw it this year. Less, yes, her offensive game is lacking, but you also see how amazing she is when it comes to rebounding. Again, she had she averaged 13 rebounds per game this year. That's two more averages than or two more averages than the second player, which was AJ Wilson. AJ averaged 11, Angel had 13. So she's still able to dominate in one side of the game, which makes her massively impactful to any team in the WNBA. Her, her offensive game will come through if she has the work ethic, if she has the right coaches in place. Her offensive game is going to come through. Come on, bro. Beginning when they make the jump to the WNBA. And this includes Angel Reese. 
Sure, it's going on I think today. Angel will eventually be a good pro. I don't think Angel will come into the league immediately and dominate the way people think she will. And I say that for people who have never watched a WNBA game. It's good. Like there's talent. Like these women can play. But and again, I've said this before. These uh, the thing about Angel Reese and Caitlin in a sense, and any really and truly any player in the first in their first season in any sport, they will never, in a sense, be as good as you as you think that they will never be as good as they will be in the future. Let's just put it that way. However, when you look at what she's done this year, especially when it comes to rebounding, she was amazing. And as 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 we said earlier on, even in college, her offensive game wasn't that good. So she was never going to come in the league and just be great offensively. That's going to come with time. But what she's done in her first season, it was very good. It was a very good first year. But it seems like Arenas has now changed his tune. He has been thoroughly impressed after watching Angel seamlessly transition her game from college to the pros. Angel Reese is a protector herself. Yeah, yeah. Right. right? And they doing it to her. Right. It's like when you look at Angel Reese, you're not looking at someone who's going to play victim. Yeah. Marilyn, she's a soldier. How she plays, she's about that action. So you're not going to bully her. Especially after her flagrant foul on Caitlin Clark. Now, one person who was truly disgusted by Angel's flagrant was Skip Bayless. He went as that foul was crazy. That foul was crazy. That was a bad moment. That was a horrible moment. Again, I will always try and focus on the basketball side of things and will give people their flowers where they deserve to get their flowers and will criticize people and talk about ways they can improve. But what Angel done here to Caitlin was disgusting. That was, oh, that was so dirty and cheap. There was no need for it at all. So, and, and then this is why people then come for her. She needs to stop doing stuff like this because it then takes away from what she's doing from from a basketball point point of point from a basketball side of things, which I believe she was very good this year. Things to improve on, of course, but she was very good at this year nonetheless. As far as to say that it wasn't a basketball play and even called her bitter. So now I, I listen to her post games and yeah, she's become the villain. I don't think she wants to be the villain, but she's become the, the protagonist, the, the opposite. She, she's the she's the instigator. She, she's the instigator. 100 yeah, percent. Well, well poor her post she's games the instigator. wreak a little bit of jealousy and bitterness. That's how it comes across to me. Paul Pierce took a different route than Skip. It seemed as if Pierce was insinuating that Caitlin got into Angel's head and she was frustrated with her performance which led to her picking up the flagrant foul on Caitlyn. She didn't get the call. She out there like Luka Doncic. She, like, <laughs> no, seriously, she was. She, she was. She just looking at the ref, throwing her hands up, and she was a little frustrated for the simple fact she wasn't getting the call and for the simple fact that her team's not doing well this year. But, you know, she... Yeah, and let's, let's not act like things like this don't happen in sports in general. Players, great players in general, always come up with, with cheap shots like this. Whether it is in Formula One, whether it is in football, whether it is in basketball. Great players always do silly things like this. And and there's so many examples that I, I could name them, but there's just too many examples. You can look for it, themself, for, for it yourselves. However, the thing is, you have to be ready to deal with the repercussions. And with Angel, it was the whole narrative that she was a villain qu uh, quote unquote because when you do things like this this is how people like the media's gonna take this and run away with it people are gonna take this and run away with it now let's not act like this is something that is new and players don't do it players have done this forever however you have to be ready to deal with the repercussions of your actions and you know you you you, you can't say you can't do stuff like this and then complain about oh people are saying i'm the villain I'm, well, well don't do stuff like that don't do dumb things like that don't try and hit a player across the head that could result in a serious injury she's playing she's being herself oh, come on so i don't know why it begins to skip angel is one of the most polarizing figures in women's basketball at the moment because of her in your face style she is willing to trash talk, and more often than not, she backs up her talk. 
Some people hate her for it, but legends like Sue Bird and Diana Taurasi cannot help but respect her for it. This kid, Angel Reese, has something about her. Her personality. Yes, she contagious. She makes, oh, oh, in her face. <laughs> hey, why not? Hey, listen. Hey, why not? If, if you, you I'm sorry, respectfully, I know uh, Sue Bird, uh, I know a lot of these um, older or older WNBA players, they are to be respected. Um, they've done a lot for the sport, but I'm going to say this right now. I do not care what they have to say about um, about the new players coming up because they have a clear narrative. I've said this before in other videos. I'm not going to listen to them because they have a clear narrative. Something something that I'm always going to do in this channel is something I hope other people always do in the channels is uh, trying to be impartial and trying to and trying to not let your own biases um, dictate how you view, how you feel about certain things. The way these these some of these older NBA WNBA players talk about the younger players, I just don't care because they they they're clearly trying to end their own narratives. So I, I don't care what they say about uh, Angel because I, I I said this in my, lo in my last video about Caitlin Clark. The way they're treating these younger players is disgusting. And this, for example, if you look at the NBA and how. You look at how LeBron talks about Zion, Zion Williamson when he first came. Or he talks about Luca. Is is in a completely different light. And again, it just helps to grow the sport if the older players, more accomplished players, try to build up the younger players. It just makes sense. It's just what you should do in in any area of life. It's not just about sports. It's just in any area of life. This is why I just don't care about their opinion anymore. Dish it, you gotta be able to take it. That's actually why I don't dish it. <laughs> I can't take it. You gotta take it too. Yeah, you gotta take it. Another polarizing individual in basketball is Ja Morant. So it makes sense that he defended Angel Reese when she was getting a ton of hate online for her attitude. He kept it simple by quote tweeting a message from Angel who was proudly bragging about her accomplishments. Oh, ja. Meanwhile, LeBron James also chimed in on the Angel Reese convo and credited her, along with other female college players, for elevating the game of basketball. During the interview, he used the word icon when talking about Angel and the other women. I think the popularity comes in. Wait, let me just go back real quick. Right here. Proudly bragging about her accomplishments. Meanwhile, LeBron James also chimed in on the Angel Reese convo and credited her, along with other female college players, for elevating the game of basketball. During the interview, he used the word icon when talking about Angel and the other women. I think the popularity comes in with the icons that they have in the women's game. You look at Angel Reese, you look at Juju. And I feel like that this is the key takeaway from this video, is... All of these players coming through, as and, and and this is a very good quote from LeBron, right? There's Juju, Caitlin, Angel, Cameron Brink. All of these players coming through, whether you like them or hate them, you shouldn't hate them, but either way, they are helping to grow this league. They are helping to grow the women's basketball. And I am all for it. I am all for helping to build new sports leagues and new sports brands. I am all for it. Now, some of the things that some of the some of the trends that have been going on, I feel like we can do we can do without. But for the most part, all of this stuff is just helping to grow the sport. And we'll end the video get video there, guys. Thank you very much for watching to the end. You're much appreciated. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, share. Do all these things to please help me grow this channel. And that's the usual. I'll see you soon.